Hey, what's going on, everybody? Junior Monk Dog here, and today, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. In the previous episode, we defeated the Whomping Willow. Ron was stuck. We got him down, ran into Professor Snape, got some wizard cards, visited Fred and George's shop, and now we have some non-explodable luminous balloons. Uh, but first things first is, I think, yes, there is a treasure chest here. I tried to open up those, uh, those crates at the foot of the bed because in the Prison of Azkaban, you can open some of them. So let's go ahead and open, or let's grab this wizard card, add that to the collection. We now have 16, and we are going to see which one that is. It is number 70, Leo, Leopoldina Smithwick. First British witch to referee a Quidditch match. There we go. That's a quality. Okay. So we don't have the max amount of beans we can have, but I don't think there's a thing in here that we can hit for beans. I'm um, pretty sure. Can we check the robes? No, we can't. Okay. So let's go down to the common room area and see what task we have to complete for today. Morning, Ron. Do you know what class we've got first? I heard that it's flying. You heard right. I'll meet you downstairs in the entrance hall. All right, so I remember all is flashing. We have to do some flying lessons with Madam Hooch on the flying pitch. First thing we're going to do is we're going to read the note here. Lost Gryffindor merit badge. Dropped during flying lesson. If found, please return this to the notice board. I will be sure to do so. Hey, what's going on, Percy? What do you got? Haven't you got flying first thing, Harry? I do. Better get moving. All right. Well, I mean, you know, I have a little bit of time. Should I go check out Fred and George's shop? Nah, let's go down and let's do some flying lessons. Even though I am the seeker on the Quidditch team, I don't really think I need to practice. Or maybe... I don't think I need to practice, like, in lessons. Maybe, like, on the actual, you know, field itself. But not really, you know, with Meta Hooch. I did that last year, you know. Alright, let's follow Ron down the grand staircase steps. Uh, we can enter into the fifth floor. Uh, I think, yes, there are some... There's some stuff right here we can hit for some beans. 32 beans. Thank you. Oh, a non-explosive luminous balloon. Thank you very much. Fifth floor, fourth floor. There's one of these floors where I can do something. Let's just go ahead. Okay, there we go. We got another beans. We can check some stuff. There's a wall and a crawl space in here as well. Like, we could uh, open this up. We can't do anything on the other side of it right now, I don't believe. So we're not going to. Also, we could crawl under here. Uh, I think this one's just a shortcut from the uh, seventh floor, uh, which is our common room area. Uh, but before we do that, okay, which one of these floors does it? Was it the second floor or did we already pass the floor? It is this one gonna do it oh it doesn't which what floor is it one of these floors it does the thing from the movie where it goes come come to me let me rip you let me tear you maybe it's uh later on in the game i thought it was uh supposed to be right now come but on, maybe Harry. it is later in the game. we will find out at some point hey it's nearly headless nick what's going on nick there goes my spell right past your ear hello nick what's the matter apparently ron has no interest in uh nick's issues Oh, a matter of no importance. It's just that Sir Properly Decapitated Podmore won't let me join the Headless Hunt. Apparently, they only accept huntsmen whose heads have completely parted company with their bodies. I'm sorry to hear that. Not to worry, young Potter. As I said, it's a matter of no importance. Alright, well, that seemed like a completely pointless interaction with my boy Nick. Oh, what's going on, Malfoy? heard about that Willow incident. It would have been really terrible if you and Weasley had been killed in the crash. That seems pretty, uh, pretty dark. I don't think, uh, they made those kind of jokes from the movie. Anyway, let's look at the, um, house points. Ooh, no house points for you, Malfoy. That seems a little, uh, ridiculous. Wait, where's our ten house points? We're supposed to have ten house points, man. Where is it? I don't see any. What do you got to say about this prefect? Hourglasses show which house has the greatest number of houses. Yeah, and we should area. have the greatest because I return that thing to the notice board. All right, maybe you know, maybe you come uh, next day. I don't know. Hope no, I hope so. All right, so there are also some bushes right here that we can hit with a pendo that should give us beans. Yeah, there we go. Two beans from these. Far too kind. Far too kind. All right, so let's head to the uh, the pitch to fly with Madame Hooch. 
Not that long of a run, just around the corner. I think you can you can go into here, but uh, it's completely useless. And I think there's also a loading screen that takes forever, so we're not going to do it. It just puts you like on the roof of Hogwarts, so you can like look at stuff from above. Welcome to second year flying. Although you all apparently learned to fly last year, the apparently is directed at you, Mr. Longbottom. A refresher course is in order. Mr. Potter, would you please come over here so we can run through the basics? Please, would you fly up slowly? A good start. Now return to hover above the ground again. No problem. I am the seeker. Thank you for letting me demonstrate this. Your broom has now been configured. If you want to alter the configuration at any time, you can do this from the options menu. Basically, you move up on the analog stick, and Good. here he goes Let's down, and you do down on the analog stick, and here he goes up. Let's try Inverted controls, difficult. not too shabby. We're going to talk over Madam Hooch, because we can. We're that cool. And we have to just fly through some rings, four points, and we will be given a grade at the end of it. So here we go, flying through uh, the hoops. Uh, my PlayStation 2 controller, by the way, um, you have to like be pressing the button, like, like, down i know that sounds like of course you have to press the button down but like yeah like i can't even i can't let up a little bit on the button like i can like on the xbox or on uh well done, other with other playstation controllers ready to take this year's flying exam you have approximately two and a half minutes to fly through as many rings as you can your course through the rings will get progressively more difficult and only the most expert flyers ever managed to complete it we got this, Hooch. As long as we can keep the X button to press down, we should be able uh, to get through this. See, I said I said to press down. Like, remember Battle for Bikini Bottom when it said Sandy has to, you know, if you d depress it on the third jump, you know? Yeah, so I can't even let up a little bit on the X button because if I do, then I'll just end up not accelerating anymore. And it's kind of a pain. And it becomes more of a problem when you do Quidditch. Uh, and even sometimes when you're casting spells. And it sucks in my thumb. It's like, literally, I I was still depressing it hard, and you could see it, like, let up for half a second. It's just terrible. I'm, I should get a new controller, but I don't know. I'm just kidding. This is going to be, like, the only game I let's play on the uh, PS2. Uh, so I guess I'll power through it instead of trying to buy a new controller. I wish it was, like, on the PlayStation uh, 4 or the P play PS3 where you can put a PS4 controller uh, into the PS3. Uh, connect it via the uh, you know the, the cable you use to charge it with on the PS4 and then you can Bluetooth it there uh, But there's no Bluetooth on this game, so it doesn't work like that even though on the PS3 You can just still have it plugged in Via the normal cable and it still works I wish it was like that on this game where you could at least the PS3 controller because the PS3 controller feels way better than this flimsy PS2 controller PS3 controllers feel solid, but not even compared to the PS4 controller Anyway, flying through the rings, blue ring, red ring, red ring, red ring. I think on the Xbox version, you get less time and these are harder and it's much harder to get a good grade. I think at this point, we are at least guaranteed a B at this point. I don't think you can get anything less. Like if we just didn't hit any more rings and we just gave up. I don't know though. I don't know how it works. I know. It's like, I don't know, 50 rings on the Xbox version or GameCube or less than that. You get, I don't know if they're just less rings or less time. Um, maybe they're not as close together, so there's like less rings. Uh, but usually I can get 100, and I think we can get it this time. Come on. Two and a half minutes, plenty of time to get 100 rings. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, we're getting 100. We get, we getting 110? I think we get, we getting 110 today, boys. I don't know what's the what the most I've ever gotten uh, out of these are. Come on, we're get we're getting 110. Come on, come on. Oh, we got 106. Oh, we got 106. Congratulations, Mr. Potter. A truly outstanding performance. You really are one of the most talented flyers I have ever seen, and you deserve the highest grade, a distinction. Give me that distinction. That's like an A plus plus, right? Thank you very much. 106 rings. And that'll be the end of the flying lesson. That was exhausting, Harry. I'm off to bed. See you later.
All right, so Ron is off to bed. We can end the day now if we want to. This is going to be a quick episode. I might upload two uh, this episode or this day. So we're going to pick up uh, this little badge that was left on the flying pitch from the lost and found. Uh, I guess I can also show this off uh, before you get like the, the bean bags. By the way, when you pick up the 100 bean bag, uh, you actually get 100 beans straight up. You can have zero beans and it'll give you 100. Uh, so I guess we can, you know, take the time, I could take the time to show you guys, uh, that there's this cool little way that you can, uh, grind for shiny objects. Basically, there are the, or not sh oh my god, I said shiny objects. Basically a way to grind for beans. Uh, you can hit these three leaves, and they give you, or bushes or whatever, and they give you, uh, beans each time. The more beans you get, though, the harder it is it's gonna be for beans to come out. Uh, so you gotta kinda keep alternating between them, and, uh, as you can see, it's kind of difficult right now to get beans from them i don't know how it's been so difficult for me to get beans this whole let's play from stuff when i have a high amount of beans i don't know why it hasn't been like this in other uh other times i played this game i have no clue what uh what's happening but uh i guess we're getting no more beans from them uh and that's basically all we can do i guess i can show i'm gonna show one more thing off real quick uh before i end the episode we have to run back to uh the beginning of uh or not the beginning, but we have to run back to uh, the the giant doors here to the uh, Hogwarts uh, castle. So basically, there are these group of kids right here, and then there are other kids around that also do the same thing that these kids do, which I'm going to show off right now. Do you collect famous witches and wizards cards? I'll give you card number seventy-eight, or see no Thruston for number ninety-eight, Dimphna Firmage. Here you are. Okay, so we have traded one of our wizard cards away to her. And the way the trading in this game works uh, with wizard cards um, is if you have two of the wizard card. So, like, say we have two. Let me look. Uh, let me look in my folio magi. Let me see. Okay, so we only we just got number 78 Orsino Thur uh, Thruston plays drums with the popular wizarding band, the Weird Sisters. So, like, Rowena La Ravenclaw, okay? Uh, well, that's actually not a good example to use here. Let's use, uh, Queen Maeve, okay? So let's say someone needs a Queen Maeve, right? And they'll give us, uh, 65, whoever the heck it is, okay? Let's, like, I don't know, anybody. So, uh, if we, tr we, we need two Queen Maves in order to get one of these because it wouldn't make much sense just to give up the only card we have for a 65 since we need to collect all of the cards it's not about getting the most valuable wizard cards it's about getting all of the wizard cards so it's quantity so we need two of this wizard card in order to get one of the other but we're only giving them one so you know we actually have uh we have more for the 101 uh wizard cards it makes sense because it doesn't make any sense to give up our only number 71 and then have to get it again somewhere else just to get a 65 so it, w it wouldn't matter we would still have 16 wizard cards uh, instead of uh, having 17 if we had two number 71s I hope I explained that correctly it was probably a little bit confusing I probably could explain it better but I uh, hope you guys get the gist of it and uh, most of you while watching this let's play probably have already played this game before and if not you've probably played it on the Xbox version and you're like well I wonder how this game looks on the PS2 version and it's completely different and uh, I'd say it's I, I think it's better on the Xbox and the GameCube version uh, but I like this version because this is the one I played as a kid um, a ton and it's amazing. I love it. So anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Let's Play Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to comment, like, favor, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out and take care. The house point totals are being calculated. Slytherin. Ravenclaw. Hufflepuff.
Gryffindor. Gryffindor is in the lead. 